everybody welcome back to a, another episode of let's play on the factory this is episode 40 wow it's been quite a bit hasn't it right so uh today i want to go over some things that i did off camera between last episode and today i think i already covered this uh this is the Current setup that is going to be doubling our ore. It's been working pretty good so far. Uh, come over here and I set up some electrolyzers to process salt, rock salt, uh, tantalite. It's taking care of uh, tantalite right now because I needed uh, manganese. I'll explain that in a second. And uh, this machine is handing lapidolite. Lapidolite? I'm not sure I would say that. But that resource will give us uh, fluorine, which is what I was aiming for, as well as some potassium, lithium, aluminium, and oxygen. But yeah, fluorine is what I want. And going back on this, the tantalite, well, the tantalite can be broken down to manganese, and tantalum, I don't think I need it right now but i think i will need it later but manganese is used to make stainless steel among other stuff too there is a uh, hsse dust which will come into play later on right <clears throat> so that's out of the way now i wanted to get the uh titanium set up but also, there is something else that I want to do really quick. And while I do that, actually, I'm going to borrow this chemical reactor for the time being for that task. Uh, what I'm talking about is, so with this, with this quest, I never got down to doing the thermal elemental data model, which is blizzes or, yeah, uh, basically, the like blaze blazes from the nether but they are elemental in all sorts so there's an ice blaze there's a rock blaze and i don't remember what the other one is supposed to be it's ice aerothrum petrothium cryothium I, yeah anyway uh to get that data model i'm gonna need let's see one sec what was it that i needed all right, okay, so I usually make blizz powder, but I need a snow block, which isn't so hard, but I also need elemental reduction fluid, okay? So that's gonna be pulsating dust and hydrofluoric acid, okay? Hydrofluoric acid is just gonna be hydrogen and fluorine, so we really don't have too much to do for this step. I just need a spare bucket or two. Iron plate. Let's just make up 32 of those while I... For now, so I can get... So I can have plates ready on hand for the future. I just kind of brain farted there. Uh, fluorine. Fluorine, fluorine. Did I not make fluorine? Is my fluorine being used elsewhere? Or am I, no, am I not making fluorine? That's the night. Now it is making fluorine. So then what am I using fluorine for that it's not being I am confused. Wait, let me check something. That's the wrong room. Should be up here, right? There's a culprit. Okay. I never had a open fluid cell. Or to come into. So do I have... I do. So what I'm going to do actually. Is I'm going to partition this particular cell. With some fluorine. Uh, ba -ba. Fluorine. We're going to come back over to our little workbench. Pop that in. And there we go. And then, 
Oh, maybe we need to put it into the system first for it to fill up. Oops, too far. Ba -ba -ba. There is the drive. Pop that in. Okay. That should do it. And I at least need to check if the machine is properly emptying out here. Okay, so the oxygen's going out of there. I might need to partition that later on, but for now, I think we're good. Okay, so hydrogen, right? Then let's go back down to the room. And I have a feeling I'm going to need more fluid, but we'll see what happens. Hydrogen, fluorine, nope, okay. So get the bucket out of there. Get a, I should have grabbed the pulsating dust beforehand, but I just kind of forgot. Pulsating dust. And bada boom, oops, bada boom, bada boom. Excuse me. Got the acid reflux going on. <clears throat> okay, so we got the reduction fluid as well as a quest. Where is the quest? There we go. So we already had blaze powder at some point, so that's unlocked. That's nice. But this whole quest here is leading into us making nether stars. Yes, we can make nether stars, and we don't have to kill the wither for it. Nether star. So as you can see, nether star, it requires the north, the east, the south, the west, and the middle. And each one of these requires quartz, as well as a dust, quartz and pyrothium, quartz and petrothium, quartz and cryothium. Whereas the core uh, requires the rods and a block of luminescence. This isn't so bad on its own. It's just nine luminescences. And that is made from energetic blends, aluminium, and phosphoric acid. Now, I recall in an earlier version of this pack, phosphoric acid was stupid easy to make. But I am going to go out on a limb and say that they fixed that. So we'll have to figure out a good way to make phosphoric acid in the new and the new way of things okay so we still need snow now i might actually just be able to go and find a snow biome nearby and grab some without having to make an extra machine isn't there a mountains nearby pretty sure there was mountains nearby oh i think i see hold on uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let me get a good view from up here. Come on. Okay, so... Oh, stuck. Is there anything around me? I think we might have to uh, actually make the uh, snow at this point. I could have sworn I was near an extreme hills biome. Let me do some exploring. I'll be right back. Okay, we are back. I managed to find a snow biome. Wasn't too far off from where I was, but uh, I just decided to cut back to the base and make the snow block here. So now that we have the snow block and we have the reduction fluid, if I'm not mistaken, it... Yeah, okay, so we just got to put it into the uh, reactor and we're good i do need more snow because i'm gonna need uh i think just honestly just two right data or just one honestly okay that's good let's pop the fluid in there pop that in there uh, i guess i'm gonna have to break the machine and get the fluid out of there because I'm going to need this reactor very shortly for titanium. Okay, that's good. Just going to pop that off. And there is our quest for more coins, which is always good. I had to do this quest over here off screen for coins because I needed some ore and I couldn't find it in the world. 
So, yeah, pretty simple. Eight controllers for the blast furnaces. And this is what I want to get to because this is going to open up Canthal. It's going to open up titanium. I mean, we can make the titanium now, but it's not going to be... It's going to be hot titanium, not like chilled, essentially. So we also need to make the precursor to titanium, which is titanium tetrachloride. Rutile carbon and chlorine may chemically may be chemically reacted to form titanium tetrachloride. This fluid is a precursor, like I said, a precursor, I didn't realize that word was in there, for metallic titanium, as well as a titanium halide, wait, halide? Ah, uh, whatever. Useful for catalyzing various polymer reactions like plastics. Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Because you can make polyethylene Interesting. So uh, one tenth of a bucket and some oxygen, which is basically free because there is a block that will make that for you. Uh, well, air. There's a block that makes air, but also, you know, I have a large storage of oxygen. So either way, yeah, that's... Wow, that's stupid simple. I might have to disable the part of my polyethylene system that makes a polyethylene and go for this route. It's pretty nice. Anyway, uh, let's get f going with this quest so I can get some more coins. Oh, that's another good point. I do want to eventually set up um, the um, the auto stocking for items because with the with the bounty board right here right the bounty board it's going to ask for certain things like ender widgets electric pumps motors and as you can see this quest oh boy would give us a whole two dollars and twenty cents of omni coins oh man it's a shame i don't have that already set up but there'll be more quests these come in randomly so yeah <clears throat> We will be we will be fine. Well, I can't talk today. Okay, so to remind myself, that's gonna be rutile, carbon, and chlorine. And if I'm not mistaken, I have carbon set to auto stock. Uh, when it gets below 256, it will do whatever I have it set up. Oh, I think it's the uh, centrifuge. -er. Yeah, centrifuge will take care of that for us. Oh wait, what? Oh yeah, right. I got the quest done, so we got the quest. The quest credit so let's grab those two dollars and fifty cents or wait yeah and then the next one we could do we could probably do this and this yeah it's doable uh but for the time being though i want to take care of some other matters we're gonna need we're gonna need more of these so wait can i make any more yeah yeah good uh, cry. Did I already use up the cryothium? I just want to get... Okay, good. So I want four of these. Maybe I can go for a fifth? No, okay. I want more of these because the more I have, the better uh, yield I'll have for the... Uh, resources right okay so let's get back to making the tetrachloride so we have a drawer and then we're gonna need oh wow there we go carbon and rutile we have an arm uh let's see we're gonna need a face we're gonna need um two faces And I'm just going to make a note to myself because I want to automate grains of infinity later on. And that shouldn't be too hard. It's just going to be a matter of making one item called the VAT. There it is, the VAT. Dark steel, some fluid tanks, pumps, obsidian furnace chassis in a cauldron so what we have to do with this is we will be making 
hooch, I believe. Yeah, hooch. Ooh, wow, well, hiccup there. Which is this water, some plant matter, and then with a the hooch, you want to make fire water, and this fire water is what will help us get the grains of infinity. Uh, we'll need redstone and blaze powder, but with the grains of infinity, with the fire water placed on bedrock, it has like a 2% tick chance to make grains of infinity. But the thing is, yeah, oh, it doesn't show the percent anymore. Uh, but the fluid, as long as it's touching bedrock, it's going to have a wider spread uh, than just a fire block. So it's going to be working against like, you know, 30, 40 blocks of bedrock as the water spreads out. And that will get you grains of infinity much faster than having to right click a block, wait for it to pop and all of that. So that's a segue for sure. Why? Oh, there we go. Face. And yeah, I think that's good. Oh, wait, now do I have any pumps? I am gonna need a pump because we need to get the chlorine. So speaking of chlorine, I should have a butt ton of chlorine, 7,000 buckets to be exact. That is all from processing salt water. I think. Wait, shit, am I, am I wasting salt, salt water? Shit, I might be I might be processing my salt completely wrong. I believe the salt water is way more efficient than what I'm doing. It's be here, right? Salt. Ah, oh, Jesus. The uh, okay. So the water and salt. We'll get the salt water. And it makes two buckets. Whereas this the salt, yeah, shit. Okay, I need to fix that. I'm gonna get rid of that, and I can keep that there, I believe, because I don't think rock salt will mix with water. Well, that's a silly mistake, and I'm sure somebody might have pointed that out to me at this point by the time the video gets put out. But uh, I'll have finally caught up to it. Oh yeah, the reactor, the reactor should still be down in the room. So we don't need to worry about that. Actually, I don't even need the drawer, I don't think. I'm going to pop that on there. I'm going to need an import bus. Oh, but you know what? I am going to need a filter. So let's get a filter. should have one. There it is. back over here we will pop the filter in there and so we're gonna say I guess no not that uh, keep exact there we go and then I saw the interface hide the interface from the panel system oh, damn it oh, damn it I hate when I misclick like that uh, carbon. Come on. Oh, please. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Carbon there. There we go. Right, so that's working. Now, can I put the pump on the front? I can't without doing the trick first. Where's the wrench? Okay, so wrench, pump, wrench. There we go. So, screwdriver, import, and uh, interface, ran out of cable. Come on. Uh, should be enough. Uh, that might not be enough for right now. The three, I mean. I will need more. Uh, let me see if I have anything stored in here. I have one cable. How long is that going to take? 
Uh, that's another thing. What I'm going to do off camera is I will go into my auto stock system and I will put some cables down in there so that the auto stock system will keep stock of some more cables for us. So I won't have to keep doing that. Okay, so I think put one here and that there. That. Always going to want chlorine to go in here. And I just realized at some point I might add a redstone control on the bottom so that this isn't always running. Or I can just make sure that I get salt production or chlorine production uh, ramped up. Okay, there we go. So we got the titanium tetrachloride. Let me get that quest. And then we have a fluid called carbon monoxide. Now carbon monoxide can be reprocessed into carbon by electrolyzer, or we can combine it with hydrogen for methanol, or methanol, oh yeah, and then methanol into acetic acid, and hydrogen, and oh, carbon monoxide. Okay, so two ways to do that acetic acetic acid recipe. However, that being said, wood vinegar and a tower is going to give us among, you know, acetic acid, ethanol, methanol, acetone, and methyl acetate, as well as water. So there's so many ways to take care of these problems. So it's all, it's all good. All right. I need two interfaces for the fluids. Didn't see that. Excuse me. Just make up uh, five. So that is going along nicely. Put away some stuff here. And uh, let's see. What was I needing about the freezer? Oh, right. Stainless steel. So while I wait for the faces to make, I did go ahead and request 513 stainless steel. Now, I do believe we have a blast furnace out here that we can borrow. I had taken this off of processing aluminium because we had like 18,000 in the system. So that should run just fine. And it's going to not take too terribly long for one uh, ingot. So while that crafts up about, I don't know, 20, 20 or 30 some odd ingots, I was still making the fluid interfaces. Hmm. I mean, I don't want to put too much into my auto stock system, but it might be a good idea for this. Uh, just trying to think here. Should I skip? Should I cut? Yeah, I'll cut. I'll be right back, guys. Okie doke. We are back. So I made the interfaces, but I also started the request for the vacuum freezer. Now I had to automate the steel screws, which wasn't anything new. I already had done screws before, which is just a steel bolt in the lathe machine and we get the screw. And then I had to do a, another recipe. Oh yeah, gallium. Uh, I mean, I need to eventually set up an alternative system for a alternative route for our for ore processing this kind of ties back into the earlier thing where i was trying to set up the ore doubling system and i was trying to factor in a thermal centrifuge but i didn't have the means to do it at the time so i might just make a quick and dirty system until i get to the iv tier which is when, and I don't think I explained this properly before, but once we get into insane voltage, the byproducts that we produce from ore doubling will be 100%. Whereas right now, they're on H voltage, they're, well, they're on HV, it's only about 28% uh, increased benefits. So, well, I mean, like the odds of byproducts are 28% versus 
Okay, so let's get this taken care of. We got output and then the interface. Bada boom. And that should be outputting. You know what? Uh, shoot, let me get a bucket. Bucket, bucket, bucket. Crap, I need a bucket. Uh, bucket, bucket, bucket. Hammer. Grab that bucket. Come on, get down there. And let's get that open. Get that carbon monoxide. And then I'm gonna give this these two bad boys their own storage cell. I can there cell. Uh yeah. Excuse me. There we go. Crap too far. And we'll pop that in. And that should insert any minute now. There we go. Okay. So that should have its own dedicated cell system. Let's pop the oh shoot, no, I wanted to keep a bucket of each fluid on hand for future automation. Do I have the means for the freezer yet? Uh that's still being made. That's being made. Okay. So let me cut and once this well first let me cover some things. So the vacuum freezer is your typical multi-block. It's gonna have energy input, the hatches or buses, depending on if we need to deal with fluids. Uh, hatches being for fluids, buses being for items, right? So we are going to need a controller, of course. And like I said, those other blocks. But then we need mostly just frost-proof machine casing. And that itself, uh, frost-proof, isn't too hard to make. It is just aluminum and a assembler, which I believe I've already automated this because, bada boom, I got frost proof casing right here. All right, so let me get some things ordered up here. And I will cut back when I am assembling this bad boy. Oh, you know what? I might want to upgrade the input hatches to high voltage. Yeah, okay, so I'm going to automate those really quick. Uh, ba da ba ba ba. And I will be back shortly. Okay, see you folks later. Hey guys, welcome back. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've crafted the vacuum freezer and I'm just getting a good shot for the video. All right, so we have the input bus, we have the output bus, the controller, and then we have the inputs down below with our CEF. So let's hook this bad boy up and then Oop, wrong cable. Where's my conduit? I thought I had it. There we go. The conduit. And then let's open up this wall a bit more. There we go. So that should be good. Maybe a few blocks. And then the cable for power starts here. And we just route it right along. Then like so Oop. like so and because i'm going to need another one here i think i'll put the cef right here so bada boom no there we go bada boom so the cef will again be put like right here there'll be two cables and then there's going to be a heater right here now i know i could use a dynamo but honestly a heater I have infinite water and I don't need to give it any fuel source or anything so <laughs> everything should be good so I'm just gonna get rid of that block and I do believe I had set a craft for another CEF off camera because I thought I needed one but turns out I already had a CEF in my inventory okay anyway we have the freezer 
and that should be good to go. It's on EV because we have two high voltage inputs. Um, so it's going to run quick. And why wasn't this finished? Oh, what's this? Oh, right. So I was building this too off camera. Do I have the casing? LB. Yeah, I do. I don't know why I didn't finish this. But uh, regardless, what I'm doing here is setting up a pyrolyse oven for all the other fluids that I'm going to be needing, such as creos no, yeah, creosote and uh, wood vinegar. Yeah. So that's going to be... Well, I'm going to upgrade this to high voltage or EV. So two high voltage inputs. And that'll be that. Uh, okay, so we are coming up on the end of the episode here. We have our tetra chloride. We just need to make the titanium now, which titanium is going to be made from combining magnesium and the tetra chloride in a blast furnace. And the cool thing is, this is basically a circular system for the most part. We get the uh, titanium ingot, but we also get magnesium chloride dust. And with that magnesium chloride dust, we can turn that into one magnesium and two parts chlorine. So we basically recycle the tetrachloride. So that's going to be awesome. Uh, but that will be for our next episode. For now, I'm going to end the episode off here. But before I do, I just want to verify we should be able to set up this furnace right here for our titanium purposes okay guys i ooh, what's going on over here okay weird i don't know i uh, will see you guys next time i hope you did enjoy please leave a like or comment down below if you did and i will see you all in the next one Bye bye